Hello there everybody, Nicolini here. Welcome to another edition of Muse's Corner. Today we're going to be going over politics and furries. Oh boy. Strap in, kids. So why am I bringing this up? Well, uh, this is another one of my videos I'm doing that's a redo redoing of the manager's version of Muse's Corner. He talked about politics in the furry fandom. And I saw a video yesterday by Cothlerix. He's a YouTube, a furry YouTuber who often commentates on controversial things and will talk with controversial figures in the furry fandom as well. Well, yeah, yeah. Sometimes they get controversial. But anyways, um, he did a video on um, politics and how he feels that uh, specifically left-wing politics are kind of like overtaking the fandom and people are worried about uh, progressive people, progressive political people, shoveling politics everywhere into the furry fandom and turning it into a thing of, well, if you don't agree with me, then you're bad and you should be kicked out, which happens a lot when you get... I don't want to say specifically left, like, progressive people, a lot of extreme, like, left-wing people, you know, that I would call an SJW. Um, I never thought I would say those words on this channel, but <laughs> when, when, when they get control of a the thing, they, they turn it into like their little own kangaroo court. Like I, I used to browse Tumblr and it was very much like that. If you didn't agree with this person's position on feminism, well, you're sexist, misogynist, and you want to take us back to 1950s Stone Age. Uh, where women were property or whatever. And people use that kind of stuff all the time. And you know what? You want to know what the secret silver bullet is? And Cothrix came up with this too. I, I'm surprised it took him this long to figure it out, but better late than never, my skelly friend. Ignore them. That's, that's all you gotta do. See, people like this, they're just looking for... I, I, I have no other way to say this than to quote Genesis. In, in the song The Chamber of 32 Doors, um, the lyrics go at one point, their deductions need applause. And that's what I feel like it is with a lot of these, um, not just people on the left, on the right too, so alt furry and all of those guys. I think that's just what they are. They're just people who are trying to take a stand on some issue or something, and they want their... <coughs> You're a good boy. Applause for doing whatever it is that they're doing. I mean, you know, it's just kind of how I personally feel. I mean, I, I don't want to label everybody like that. I think there are people who are genuinely in the f whatever fight they're in, you know, because they feel that passion about their thing. The problem is when you become blind to your zealotry. And the reason, and this cycles back to why I said this isn't exclusive to left-wing politics, because anybody can be a zealot about whatever. You know, uh, religion? Anybody? Christianity? Anybody? We've all met that zealous person, right? What's that? You're listening to the Beatles? They're extolling the virtues and values of living in a brotherhood of man and loving each other and coming together as one, but they don't praise the Lord Jesus? Well, that's satanic. You need to burn that record because that's not the Lord's music, right? We've all been around people like that, so this isn't something exclusive, but we're seeing it in mainly in that group, uh, uh, the, the extreme, more extreme progressive people. So what do we do? Yeah, like I said, you just ignore them. That's it. Just, just don't give them attention because they want the attention. They want the power. They want this. They want that. They want to dictate how things go. Don't give them that. You know, D don't play the game. Like that's what my manager started doing on his Facebook last year. He's like, you know what? Too much focus on politics in a furry fandom. But by me complaining about it incessantly, it's kind of leading to the same thing. You know, it's kind of adding fuel to the fire. So I'm just not going to say anything myself. I'm just going to focus away from that. And I think that's the best thing we can do. Now, I know what people are going to say, but people complain to me on Twitter and they call me a Nazi because I don't agree with them on this. Or they call me a, a SJW because I said that. So? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Honestly, who is it? Is it some random youtuber furry facebook user that you don't really know is it like just some random artist okay why why does that matter be made of iron be made of iron let those insults let the untruths bounce off you like a cheap arrow Boing! just be like oh okay that's the best you got huh all right you know i mean even if you get a bunch of people like coming down on you just yeah Okay, okay, okay. And the best thing to do also is just do not engage. If, if people are trying to accuse you of something and you know in your heart of hearts that it's not true, just ignore them. Don't don't engage. Don't try to 
back yourself up. Don't double down. Don't double down. Anything but doubling down. Um, just don't give them your, your time and your space. Because, you know, they'll realize that, okay, this guy isn't down to play the game. So I'm out of here. Bye. And the thing, too, is... And Cothrix pointed this out in his video. Is that, you know, even if we get shut out of art sites or meetups or websites or whatever, we can always go make other ones or go join other ones. And what's going to happen is um, they're going to hang themselves. And I don't say that in like a, a oh, look, it's so depressed, they'll hang themselves. No, I, I'm very much a fan of the uh, theory of give a man enough rope and he'll hang himself. And so what these people are going to do is they're going to get so live wire about their little issues and their little games and their little stuff that they'll start eating each other you may have you may have seen that eating each other basically means they start turning on each other they start arguing amongst themselves oh you don't have a right to speak on that because you're not you don't fulfill this quota so how dare you you know kind of like what happened to a friend of mine a friend of mine suffers from mental health issues really big mental health issues so they were in a group on facebook which they thought they could you know express their opinions on about their situation about how they feel and they said you know i would just like to feel normal for once and they got a talking to by more progressive pinheads about how whoa how dare you say that because you're a white male and you should check your privilege because there are minorities that are that that they don't have a chance to feel normal in american society and it's like bro you know what he meant don't be a pinhead but they have their heads so far up their collective rears that that doesn't occur to them so you know they're so so they're so unself aware that it's almost funny it's like i mean and and again this isn't exclusive to uh to the left, uh, alt furry and the furry raiders, same thing. They're so unself aware about what they're doing. It's hilarious. I mean, alt furry is a group that's being led by a troll seeking attention, a former diaper fur, and a guy who wrote a book where literally a Vermont soldier loses his virginity to two lovely uh, cat women or fox women. I forgot what they were. And I'm not joking, by the way. I'm gonna link that book down below. L uh, <laughs> this isn't an endorsement of Len Kilbert, but <laughs> you can see like. Just see how bad it is. So, um, yeah, that's my, my feelings on that. And the thing is, that, and I want to emphasize that there's nothing wrong with backing up political opinions that you are passionate about, right? There's nothing wrong with that. If you want to spread the word on how you feel in regards to, say, uh, President A's foreign domestic policies or Nation B's way of handling their, their, their inner political turmoil, that's fine. But I think the reason why people ab react so hard when it comes to things like comic books and furry and music and gaming is that those are supposed to be, well, to put it in their own words, a safe space from that kind of stuff. We go and we read books not to be lectured on how we're evil because we voted for Hillary Rodham Clinton. We go there to read a book that gives us an entertaining story to perhaps get away for a few hours from the mundane doles of our mortal lives to be taken away to magical fantasy worlds and the last thing i want to do when i play something like mass effect is have diversity politics shoveled down my throat because i'm like oh my god you know and the other problem with that too is it knocks you like right out of the story too it, it's so disconnecting when you see that and you might go well art has always art has always commented on political issues you're right in fact many people feel that george lucas's prequel me uh prequel memes <laughs> I meant prequel movies, the Star Wars prequel movies, had messages digging at the Bush, Bush administration and how big government was getting at that time um, through Senator Palpatine becoming Emperor Palpatine and abusing the powers of the Republic and the Senate to get what he wanted, right? But here's the thing, George Lucas doesn't lecture us on and on and on in the movie about that. He lets the events unfold and doesn't lecture us on and on and on outside of that, acting as if he's some kind of powerhouse. Oh, I can voice my political opinion and people will listen to me because I'm a celebrity and I can tell people how to think, you know? Like, uh, <coughs> you're rolling and <coughs> me. Um, <coughs> which sucks because I really actually like both of those writers. You know, and then what ends up happening is instead of talking about what female characters we like from Agret Zuko, or however you say that anime, uh, we start talking about how uh, there's not enough female characters in the furry fandom and it's disempowering women and, and then all this stuff comes in and people are like, I just came here for the fuzzy animals. That, that's all I'm here for. I'm not here to discuss, you know, that kind of stuff. That's why you have places like the furry subreddit who will like, there's a rule against no politics and if you do post a political thing on there, they're going to be all like, why are you posting about politics in here? Hmm? Like, this is supposed to be a no political zone because people just want to get away 
from that. They don't want to be reminded about the real world. They just want their time, their space to get away from life and unwind and have fun. I mean, it'd be like if I started talking about, oh, how much it sucks to work jobs or whatever, and that's all my thing became about. People would probably be like, you know, I used to watch your videos because it was a nice escape from reality, but now you're bringing all the real world stuff into this, and now I'm just like, or whatever, I don't know. That was a terrible analogy, but yeah, so that's all I have to say on that. This ran a little bit longer than I wanted to, but it's something that's been on my mind that I feel like I should um, mention. So yeah. And again, if you're tired of the political game being played, it's fine to voice your opinion on that, but my best truth to spit right now, ignore it. Focus on what you want to focus on in the fandom, drown out the negative, and bring your best positive A-game. Deliver the content you want, deliver the stuff you want, and you can, you know, you'll find yourself being happier, because you're not focusing on negative, you're focusing on positive. Bring the fire, bring the love, bring the passion, bring the content, and you'll see your attitude and the attitudes of others around you maybe lighten up and change for the better. Can you dig that? I think you can. Also, remember, we got a list going on in the comments, description, whatever. What is a list? A list is a, um, a list of things that we use for our different productions, you, and um, you can check out the products there, and any items that you click on and proceed to buy on Amazon through our list will give us a small commission to help support the channel. We also have a Patreon, too, so if you want to help us keep doing what we're doing, please give us a donation. Uh, we'll probably set up like a Kofi or something like that as well, get that going again. For those of you who want to just toss us a small time, one time donation and don't want to devote yourself to pledging, that's fine. I totally understand that as well. So my name is Nicolini. Thank you for listening to the Mises Corner. And until next time, keep it real right on. <laughs>